Hello and welcome to We Have a New Kitty Plasma release. Are you excited? So we're going to talk about all the new features, starting off right away with the new tiling system because Kitty Plasma 5.27, which by the way is the last Kitty Plasma 5, are you excited for that too? We're going to have Plasma 6 by the end of the year or early next year. But anyway, the tiling system Plasma 5.27 comes with a tiling system built in in Kwin. How does it work? Well, not quite as you would expect from its name. It's not actually a tiling system. Basically, you have a shortcut, which is Meta T, which you can use to access this fancy zone-like setup where you can actually, you know, set up all the tiling zones. So you can, as an example, say that you want four tiling zones at the dividing your screen into four parts and then when you drag and drop a window normally you can hold shift and the window will automatically tile to the tiling zone that you're dragging and dropping them into which is pretty cool and you have a lot of options to customize these uh, tiling zones you can yes split them vertically and horizontally and of course recess them but you can also add some floating areas which aren't actually floating it in itself the actual windows are always floating if you don't press shift but rather they are customizable tiling zones where you can just freely choose how they should their position and size which is pretty cool also you do get the option to choose what gap the windows should have between the screen and the windows and also between themselves, obviously. This tiling system was implemented by Marco Martin, to the best of my knowledge, and the coolest thing is that it's actually meant to be extended using APIs. So if a third-party script, and there are a lot of tiling third-party scripts, wants to, they can just use the API for the tiling zone to maybe actually make a full integrated tiling just like i3 or whatever. You do get this fancy new feature, but you also get the opportunity to extend, build on top of it with extensions. So let's go, I like it. Really the takeaway is tiling meta T and when drag and dropping shift to tile. As a side effect, which is actually pretty important, when you resize two windows on the left and on the right, normally as you would do by just drag and dropping them to the left and right parts of the screen or by pressing meta left uh, or meta right, well, when you resize one, the other one will also be automatically resized, which is a super cool feature that Windows had for a lot of years and now Kitty Plasma has two. So you don't actually have to resize both, which is pretty annoying. Secondly, there's a new feature that will you will only notice if you're trying out Kitty Plasma for the first time. That is, we have a new welcome application that talks about what Kitty Plasma is and also allows you to customize something. So it's a Plasma welcome app. The info that you will get from it is, you know, the the basic stuff, how Kitty Plasma works, the fact that we have plasmoids that you can just customize, drag around, put on the desktop, the fact that you have activities, a brief explanation of activities, this sort of thing. So nothing too fancy. Also, the customization isn't too fancy either because the idea was, okay, maybe if the user is trying out Kitty Plasma for the very first time, they probably don't know what they want to customize. So let's just give the most simplest options that the user will be able to understand. Right now, I know for sure you can customize whether to turn on telemetry, which obviously is off by default. I don't know if there's anything else actually, but of course we can just add it whenever now that we have the underlying system. Also, there is a screen that can be customized by um, distros and probably more than one. I think they have complete control over it. So if Manjaro, as an example, wants to add a page to customize whether you want light, dark theme, I'm pretty sure they can do that. I'm actually pretty excited too for this feature. It's something that GNOME or Elementary had for years again, and now Kitty Plasma has it too and can make great use of it. Another very important thing actually that will impact a lot of people is that there was a complete rewrite of how multi-monitors work. So if you just have a laptop or just one monitor, you don't care about this, but if you do have multiple monitors and you experienced issues with managing them, maybe you occasionally 
couldn't find your panels anymore. It has happened to me. That's not going to happen anymore. Everything was rewritten from scratch. And this actually means that you will find new bugs because obviously when you do something from, from scratch, it's going to have some new bugs. And the same developer from the tiling system, Marco Martin, has actually published a blog post going through how to report bugs for multi-monitors. And if you have any, I would suggest reading that and submitting them because now is the best time to make sure that everything works properly going into Plasma 6. What else? Discover was improved. So basically now the homepage looks significantly prettier and the selection of apps that you see out of the box are not hand coded as they were previously, but if I understood this correctly, they're actually dynamically selected between popular apps. To be fully honest, I'm not sure what that is, but you know, prettier and better selection of the applications out of the box. Nice. And for those lucky owners of Valve's Steam Deck, not me, gaming console, Discover can now perform system updates within the desktop. I don't have a Steam Deck, I wish. There has also been work in improving system settings, which obviously is a core part of KDE. As an example, the sidebar is now a bit cleaner because the button at the very bottom, highlight changed settings, is now in the hamburger menu. So it's out of the way, you just see the categories on the left. And also some pages were changed, removed from the category selection at the left and inserted as a sub pages of other pages where it made sense and actually some options were removed entirely and I'm not gonna tell you which one they are because if you don't notice then it means we choose what features to remove correctly. Whoops. Still in the significant stuff you might know that you can search in KDE either through Kickoff which is the application launcher on the bottom left or through KDRunner at the top with alt space. Now, there has been complaints over the year on, about the fact that it wasn't good enough, like uh, sorting of the results wasn't good enough and there has been a lot of work to make sure that the relevant stuff is always at the top. Now, it's literally impossible to please everybody with the selection of what's most relevant and what isn't. However, the new system is significantly significantly better compared to the old one. So if you were previously experiencing some issues with very important results finishing at the bottom, then that should be fixed as well. Keep in mind, by the way, that this is a longer term support release, which means that the main focus was not like, let's bring new shiny features, but rather let's make sure that everything works and is stable because this is the last KDE Plasma 5 release. So people are going to use it for a while. The media player widget, whenever you're like watching a video on YouTube or listening to music, you do get your current playing video or music on the system tree. Now we can actually control it. If you have a touch screen, you can just swipe left and right to, to switch to the next or previous tracks. And that's it. And oh, no, also down. You can swipe up and down. I I'm not sure. Ah, it changes the volume. Sorry. <laughs> Another cool thing, if you're a designer and you have an image and you want to extract automatically the most prominent color of that image, there are a lot of tools to do that, but now Kitty Plasma is one of those tools. You just add the color picker widget to your panel and then you just drag and drop the image that you have into the color picker and automatically that will extract the most prominent color, which is so useful. I can finally stop Googling Python script to extract color, you just drag and drop. There's also a lot of work still going on in making sure that Wayland is a system that everybody can use. And of course, it's not easy to tell you what the new features are because it's mostly bug fixes that most people don't care about. Just to make an example, Krita can now detect in Wayland the pen tilt and pressure, which is something extremely important for artists, but everybody else, they probably don't care. So if in the past you could not use Wayland due to some bugs, try out the new KD Plasma 5.27 release, see if those bugs are still there. And if not, you can actually finally switch to Wayland because it is better over here. If not, uh, we're still working on it, so. <laughs> Everything else is uh, less relevant. As an example, you have an option to v more quickly change the current activity of a specific window, but you probably don't use activities. 
but, but yeah, you have that. And if you want to know the full list of changes, even the smallest, smallest ones, then you can refer to the official announcement. But if you just wanted the most important changes, these in the videos are. And as always, one, you can donate to KDE to support the development. If you don't know how to do that, you literally just open the announcement page and on the top, you have an option to donate right away. So it's super easy. And really, it helps the development of KDE and allows KDE to hire more and more developers, something that just now KDE is starting, has started doing. So please do it. And so since we're talking about hiring developers, I'm not hired by KDE. I'm hired by my watchers, my Patreon, like you guys and girls watching my videos. So February is quite a slow month so far. I've done a bit less videos, but now I'm doing a lot of stuff and I'm still working on KDE. You will see, see very soon a new, um, a lot of new features coming for the floating panel. So I'm super excited to show them to you. Uh, but I'm currently receiving very little donations and usually I have a goal of 700 euros for each month to reach. Currently, I think I'm 200, 250. So very far and we are like midway through. What's the calendar? Yeah, so if you're able to chip in something that would be that would be awesome, but that is less relevant. Thank you so much for following this video and I really hope you enjoy Kiddie Plasma 5.27. I do.